to the valley. So I think the first question is, where are we going? We are going to Karumban Valley. <laughs> So our first stop is a little eco-village, mm. which is like a nice little place with some sustainable houses and some beautiful little creatures behind us. <laughs> so the first question is, how did you guys meet? We met at uni. We're on the same floor of a hostel. Yeah. Yeah. How, how did we first meet? When was the first time that we met? Um, so Cam was super drunk, so I don't think he even remembers. He was coming back from a Skrillex concert. <laughs> Um, so yeah, that was the first time. Yeah. The rest is history. The rest is history. What a great story to tell the grandkids. <laughs> that is beautiful. <laughs> Just right there. question is, if you could live off of one fruit or veggie for the next year, what would it be? I want to say bananas because that's doable, but um, I'm going to go super adventurous and say mangoes. You? <laughs> Mango steens. Very adventurous. Thank you. Where are we now? Long Time Park. Cool. Question. What are your all time favorite books? Um, I like the self, like classic self help books like Zen and the Art of Happiness, um, Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, um, and stuff by James Altucher. But I didn't read Harry Potter until I was 19, so probably Harry Potter. Cool. Thanks. Cool. <laughs> what about you? So this is a very hard question for me because I have so many favorite books and I feel like it's always changing. But the ones I can remember from the top of my head are The God of Small Things, um, The Secret Life of Bees, the Unbearable Lightness of Being, um, The Strange and Beautiful Sorrows of Ava Lavender, and I think one of my most recent favorites is Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe. It's such a beautiful read. So next question is, when will you guys go to the Thai Fruit Festival? Hopefully, maybe, yeah. next year. Yes, depends on how our money situation is and everything else. We do really want to go, it looks awesome yeah. all the fruit everyone is having and yeah but we'll, we'll see. see we'll see yeah so some people want to know where you're from new zealand but specifically wellington new zealand what suburb <laughs> just kidding what about you i'm from costa rica san jose it's <laughs> so much fun another question is who went vegan first me. Oh, you bloody liar. Oi, where are we? Harum and Rock Pools. Cool. Alright, next question is what breakfast do you make that keeps you full until lunch? Brown rice pudding is the one we've been making lately because it's been quite cold in the mornings and yeah, so we've been having that that keeps us full until lunch super satisfying and you can always top it off with some cooked fruit or some fresh fruit as well it's really nice yeah that one's been so good so just um cook the brown rice we cook it in a little bit of oat milk um or some light coconut milk yeah That's so it. good yeah. either that or i do love the old banana smoothie but um brown rice brown rice bread. so next question is what is the best way to start a vlog or a youtube channel I think, I think the biggest thing is like, you know, like the confidence issue. It's about knowing how to talk to a camera. Um, Cause it's, it's fairly it's weird. Yeah, it is so weird. <laughs> I hate it. 
but, been well, good. but I've been good lately. You've been good. Um, the best thing that I did um, was just film myself on my iPhone and send them to Nina. Um, you don't even have to send them to anyone, just, just getting used to filming yourself like this and then you can sort of then go to practice talking to a camera like this and it never has to make it into a video that anyone sees. It's just about, it's just like practice, practice, yeah. practice, practice. So maybe you can just start your YouTube channel and start making videos, but just make the videos private until you're comfortable enough to show the video to someone. Yeah. Um, I think another tip would be know what your message is, know why you're doing a YouTube channel. Um, and that way that will keep you motivated to make at least, I guess, one video a week or one video every two weeks. Because it's very easy to lose motivation when you don't have a clear direction of where your YouTube channel is going. Yeah, so have a bit of planning. Nice. That's a good one. Yeah, as with so many of these things, it's just about doing it. Um, yeah. yeah, stop trying to find excuses and instead find reasons to do it. Yeah. There is like a great community out there. There's so many things that need to be shared, especially from like the vegan realm. So, um, get cracking. Cracking. Good filming. So next question is, tips for someone having trouble sticking on a vegan diet? Um... So I think tip number one would be watch Earthlings. Um, that's a great documentary to watch yeah. when you're falling off the wagon because it, it reminds you who you're doing it for and what you don't want to contribute to. Yeah. Um, fill your head with knowledge, educate yourself, whether that is about the environment or for your own health or for the animals. Just remind yourself why you're doing this. Um, and that will keep you motivated. You don't want to eat something that is either contributing to bad health contributing to global warming or co contributing to animal cruelty yeah so yeah i think a big one is watching youtube videos watching other people who are yeah. vegan and then it sort of just fills your head you know with the fact that it's normal and it's like the yeah. only way and there aren't any other options yeah so join some groups on facebook whether they're vegan groups um go to potlucks and fruit lucks follow instagram people who just post about food because that can keep you inspired um, and I think the best, one of the best tips as well is to keep eating good food and eat enough so that you don't crave other crap. Yeah. So make it easy for yourself, right? Yeah. Totally. Yeah, yeah, just only ever buy vegan food, um, which might, might be hard for some of you, but it's, if you never have any junk food or any of that sort of stuff in your yeah. house, you're never tempted to eat that. So, um, yeah, and eat enough. Eat enough. Eat enough is huge, yeah. And watch your things. Every night. Where are we going next? Freeman's Organic Fruit Farm. Ruby. For all the people asking what I'm having for lunch today. <laughs> Oranges. Oh, shush ladies. I'm filming. So are you raw to four or what? <laughs> oh <God>. <laughs> <laughs> so next question is, what's your favorite dish? That is so hard. That is so easy. Pizza, always, 24 seven. I love pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Banana smoothie. Oh, get out. Yes. Okay, I'm just kidding. Maybe like pasta or sushi. Brown rice sushi. Cool. Sweet. Where are we now? I have no f***ing idea. <laughs> Alright, so the final question is, what are some of your favourite resources and what do you draw inspiration from? Um, so I think we draw inspiration from a lot of things. Um, mainly and more recently I think it's from books and magazines we've been reading, so... Yeah. A lot of books are very inspiring, just the way things are written or how they can create this different world, which is just so beautiful and specific. And magazines are more on people and people who have quit their jobs and taken control of their lives and doing something yeah. like outside the norm, which is awesome. Yeah. Um, we draw inspiration from music as well. So sometimes we listen to a song and that song inspires us to make a video so that both of them yeah. fit. Um, I love that, just like finding yeah. a song and being like, yes, yes. Um, YouTube, yeah. obviously, like yeah. there's so many incredible creators. Um, I love watching like, yeah, 
travel videos yeah. and stuff like that and just I guess the inspirational thing is people's vlogs I guess it's like um, it's being able to capture the beauty in the moment it's not so much like come out here and set up on a field it's like oh cool like let's shoot this now does that make sense yeah yeah artistic <laughs> vlogs podcasts are huge as well so I've loved the ritual podcast for a long time um, again it's like exposing incredible people um, also we listened to on being last night and it was like this incredible poet and it's just yeah it's just it's, I think more so than like any multimedia source it's just people that yeah. inspire us as yeah. people doing something outside of the norm yeah. thanks for joining us it's been fun it's been nice to get out and about and answer some questions sorry that it took so long to get to them they're incredible um but we did it in the end so we'll definitely make a lot more of these in the future if you have any more questions pop them down below and we'll think of a location to go to and answer all those questions and thank you for these questions these have been yeah. awesome yeah sorry it took three months to <laughs> get it bye bye I'm always the one picking up the camera. <laughs>